Hey guys, Godslayer here, and today we'll be discussing the United States' growing tensions within the Persian Gulf. The Persian Gulf and its coastal areas are the world's largest single source of petroleum, with other related industries dominating the region. Safania Oil Field is the world's largest offshore oil field, and is located within the Persian Gulf. This alone, not including the numerous other economic opportunities this body of water may give, gives more than enough reason for naval dispute between countries. The Persian Gulf's rich history is filled with military and political conflict, especially within the last few decades, but it's reaching new levels of possible war recently. The main two players at bat is the United States and Iran. Iran has a proxy paramilitary web all over the Middle East because of its Shia and Iran-influenced terror groups. Because of this, the United States ordered the designation of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, or the IRGC, as a terrorist organization. In response, Iran designated the United States military as a terrorist organization. Multiple merchant ships in the Persian Gulf were damaged in two incidents in May and June of 2019. The Western nations blamed Iran, while Iran denied any involvement. In June 2019, Iran shot down an American RQ-4A surveillance drone flying over the Strait of Hormuz, sharply increasing tensions and nearly resulting in an armed confrontation. In July 2019, an Iranian oil tanker was seized by Britain in the Strait of Gibraltar on the grounds that it was shipping oil to Syria in violation of the European sanctions. But we won't be covering the politics of sanctions in today's video. In retaliation, Iran later captured a British oil tanker and its crew members in the Persian Gulf. Both Iran and Britain later released the ships. Meanwhile, the US created the International Maritime Security Construct, or the IMSC which sought to increase overall surveillance and security in key waterways in the Middle East, according to the United States Department of Defense. The crisis escalated in late 2019 and early 2020, when members of the Hezbollah militia, one of Iran's main proxy terror groups, killed an American contractor in an attack on a base hosting American personnel. In retaliation, the U.S. conducted airstrikes against Hezbollah's facilities in both Iraq and Syria killing 25 militiamen. Hezbollah responded with an attack on the U.S. Embassy in Baghdad, which prompted the U.S. to deploy hundreds of new troops to the Middle East, and announced that it would preemptively target Iran's proxies in Iraq. Days later, the commander of IRGC's Quds Force, General Salamani, and Hezbollah commander Abu Mahdi were both killed in a U.S. drone strike, resulting in Iran's supreme leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei pledging to exact revenge on U.S. forces. The U.S. deployed nearly 4,000 troops in response to the tensions, and Israel heightened its security levels. On January 5, 2020, Iran ended its commitments to the political Iranian nuclear deal. The U.S. and Iran nearly entered into an open conflict on January 8, 2020, when the IRGC launched missile attacks against two U.S. Iraqi military bases housing U.S. soldiers in retaliation for the killing of General Salamani, a rare direct Iran-U.S. confrontation, and the closest to the brink of war between the two nations in decades. Upon assessments of no U.S. casualties, the Trump administration eased tensions by ruling out a direct military response, but instead announcing new sanctions. On June 29, 2020, Iran issued an arrest warrant for U.S. President Donald Trump and 35 other officials on murder and terrorism charges for the January drone strike on General Soleimani and requested international assistance in detaining him. The U.S. Special Representative for Iran, Brian Hook, dismissed the arrest warrants as a propaganda stunt that no one takes seriously and makes the Iranians look foolish. Analysts and commentators identified the warrant as symbolic rather than a genuine attempt to arrest Donald Trump. Throughout the heavy, heavy tensions during 2019 through 2020, there have been almost weekly headlines of Iran conducting a military exercise, or Iran detaining merchant ships, or Iranian influence on a terror attack. These continue to even today. If you ended up liking the video, consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always change your mind. Thank you for watching.